The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good afternoon. Um, before we get started, we want to make sure that our audio is working. So if you can hear me, um, it would be helpful if you raised your hand, then that lets us know that you can hear us okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Welcome and thank you for attending the Colorado Medical Board's stakeholder meeting via webinar. Today is April 11th, 2022, and the time is 2.01 p.m. Before we get started, we would like to introduce um, the members from the Division of Professions and Occupations that are present. My name is Darcy Magnuson, and I'm a regulatory analyst with the division. Also attending is Elena Kemp, regulatory coordinator. Um, due to concerns regarding COVID-19, the division has transitioned to a platform that is 100% virtual, and we appreciate your flexibility. Um, as many of you have been to DORA stakeholder meetings before, we would like to reiterate the importance of your comments today. DORA makes decisions every day that may affect your life and your business, so your input is vital in the rulemaking process. Throughout this process, our goal is to create regulations that clarify and explain legislation, ensure minimum competency to enter and continue to practice, and provide only what is absolutely necessary for consumer protection without creating unnecessary barriers to the marketplace. Your input will be part of the information that goes to the board as it considers adopting revisions to the rules. More specifically, we will be discussing revisions to rule, rules 130 regarding general renewal and reinstatement procedures, rule, one, rule 410, physician assistance, and rule 520, anesthesiologist assistance, to implement Colorado House Bill 21326 concerning an expansion of an individual's ability to practice an occupation in Colorado through creation of an occupational credential portability program. This meeting is being recorded and will be posted on the board's website by the close of business tomorrow under the public notices tab. As this stakeholder meeting is held solely by webinar, please raise your hand by using the hand icon if you would like to speak and we will unmute your line so you'll be heard by everyone. Or you can type your comment in the question section and we will read it aloud. For anyone that is planning to provide comments, please state your name and who you represent. Feel free to provide either general comments on the rule changes or specific comments on the proposed language. Please keep your comments limited to three to five minutes or less and try not to repeat something that was already said. Stating you're in full agreement with someone else works just fine, and we will note that. If you are using the audio through your computer, please remember to put any phones on vibrate or turn them off. And whether you are using computer or phone audio, try to keep background noises to a minimum when speaking. So at this point in time, um, we are currently showing rule 130. We did have uh, another stakeholder meeting, so I won't go into um, all the details on the reason I think it was clear as well in the introductory um, information about why the board is considering these proposed changes. I do want uh, folks who are participating today to know that the recording from that stakeholder meeting that we had earlier this year is posted on the board's website. Um, if you wanna listen to that and hear what other people had to say, um, but for today, if you'd like to provide any other comments regarding the proposed changes, we'll go ahead and start with Rule 130. I think if you can put that one back up, Elena, um, and then we'll work through all three of the rules. So if you would like to speak, you can raise your hand and we will unmute your line. Or you can type into the question function and we will read um, your question or comments out loud for the recording. And we also um, have Paula Martinez participating on the webinar, and she is the program director for the Colorado Medical Board, as well as Ashley Moeller, who is first assistant attorney general and um, counsel for the board. Thank you. 
Uh, that's the end of rule 130. So we are going to, um, unless we have anybody that wants to comment on these rule changes, I think we'll go ahead and move on over to rule 410. We can always go back if you do have comments to provide. And while we wait to see if anyone wants to provide any comments, um, I mentioned it earlier, but just as a reminder, so all of the information regarding rulemaking um, is always posted on the board's website under the public notices tab. Um, and that's where you can find the draft rules. Um, you can find stakeholder comments. You can find the recordings from the previous stakeholder meetings and then information about how to register for the rulemaking hearing if you'd like to testify at the rulemaking hearing. So, um, and then if you ever have any additional written comments or questions, you can submit those to the rulemaking inbox, which is Dora underscore DPO underscore rulemaking at state.co.us. And that email address is provided on all of the information that we send out to licensees and other interested parties regarding rulemaking. Um, so if you ever have any questions, that's a, a good place to reach us. And I'm not seeing any um, raised hands, so we'll just keep scrolling through to give people a chance to um, glance at the rules. I know we're probably scrolling too quickly to read. That's why I mentioned that they're posted on our website, and I'm sure you saw them attached to the notice today. Um, but we'll just scroll through the three rules that up, are up for consideration, and then we will go ahead and move on if we don't have any stakeholder comments.
Okay, so that takes us to the end. Um, we don't have any raised hands and haven't received any written comments or questions, so we'll go ahead and wrap up the meeting and talk about next steps. Um, so thank you for participating in today's meeting. All stakeholder comments and program recommendations will be provided to the board for review and consideration prior to the permanent rulemaking hearing that is tentatively scheduled for May 19th, 2022. As I mentioned, you will have an opportunity to testify before the board at the permanent rulemaking hearing before the board begins its deliberation, if you would like to do that. Um, we do always welcome written comments as well, and it is helpful for us to get those in advance of the rulemaking hearing, so that way we can weave in those written comments into the red line version of the rule for the board to review um, during the testimony portion. So, um, and you can submit those to the rulemaking inbox that I mentioned earlier. And that concludes this stakeholder meeting. Thank you again for your participation, and we are going to end the webinar now.